Hello there, grade eights. So today we're going to talk about uh, lesson 1.2 uh, of your Math Makes Sense. Um, and today we're talking about squares and square roots. So what I have here is uh, just a list of numbers from 1 to 12. Um, I would actually, if we were doing this in class, I would have you go all the way up to 30 and we'd be filling in all this information. Um, but just for time's sake, uh, I'm going to do this uh, just from 1 to 12, and if you wanted to do up to 30 on your own as practice and just try to see uh, what other numbers we're able to get, um, that's awesome, and I would highly, highly recommend it. So, uh, what we're actually doing here, oh, sorry, wait for that card to go by, uh, what we're actually doing here is we're going to be listing all the factors. So, for those who don't remember what factors are, factors are two numbers that you can multiply to get the product. Right? So, in this situation, what two numbers can we use to multiply to get 1? Well, we can go 1 times 1. So, 1 is our only factor. If we go to 2, then we have 1 times 2. Right? If we go to 3, well, actually, I'll make it easier. 1 is going to be a factor for every single number. All right? When we get to 3, what, can we, what two numbers can we multiply together to get to 3? Well, we can go 1 times 3, and that's it, all right? Uh, what about 4? Well, we have 1 times 4, but we also have 2 times 2. So I'm going to put 1, 2, and 4, all right? The next one I look at is I have 5. Okay, what can I multiply together to get 5? If you wanted to pause and you wanted to finish this whole thing on your own, go ahead. Now that you're kind of getting the idea, so what number times five uh, can, uh, or what number can you multiply with one to get five? Well, five. Okay. Now we're on to six. What numbers can you multiply together to get six? Well, we have two times three and one times six. Perfect. How about seven? Well, seven is a prime number. So a prime number, in case you don't remember, is a number where only one times itself is considered a prime number. So here we have 2, 3, 5, 7 is also a prime number. Okay. Here we have 8. What two numbers can we multiply to get to 8? Well, we have 2 times 4 and then 1 times 8. All right. The next one, we have 1 times 9, but we also have 3 times 3. Okay. Over here we have 10. So we can go 2 times 5, and then 1 times 10. Okay. When we get to 11, well, that's also a prime number. So it's 1 times 11, 1 times itself. Okay. Uh, here, this one, this one has a lot. So we have uh, 1 times 12. We have 2 times 6. And then we also have 3 times 4. So we have all of these possible answers. Now, what are we trying to do? We're trying to look for where we have an odd number of answers. All right? So an odd number of answers. So what I'm basically saying is, if they have a pair with, the, with another number, okay, then that's not going to be what we would call a perfect square. Okay, it's not going to make a square. So look at here. We have three. Okay, we have three. So what basically what that's saying is we have one number that's multiplied by itself, and in this case it's two. So two times two gives us four. So we would say that four is going to be one of our perfect squares. Okay, so if four is our square, then that means that two becomes the square root. Okay, let's find another one here. Oh, we've got one. Four, or sorry, two numbers, four numbers, two numbers, four numbers, three numbers. So here we have three numbers again. So three doesn't really have a pair. So it's paired with itself. So this would be another one of our perfect squares. So this would be what we get when we go three times three. So three times three is the square root. Okay, uh, or three is the square root of nine. Nine would be the square, okay? So basically what we're saying is if we have, for example, 3 times 3 equals 9, this becomes our square, and this number becomes our square root. Okay? 3 becomes our square root. So 3 times itself is, is our square root, 
whereas 9 becomes our, our square. Um, so this is kind of what we're playing around with. So like I suggested, I would like you to try to do this chart all the way up to 30 uh, and see which square, uh, perfect squares you're able to find and figure out what those square roots are for each of those numbers. Um, eventually what we're going to work on is we're actually going to work on figuring out what these perfect squares are up to about 200 um, and then you sh you're, you'll be able to just have it memorized what each of the square roots are for each of those perfect squares. All right. So um, you're going to have some practice activities that you're going to be working on. Um, make sure you try to get through those. Any questions that you may have, make sure that you bring them to the Zoom class uh, and I'll be happy to help you out. All right. Have a great day.